Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. And we were starting the timer. Boom. Start it up. Yeah. TNT. So, you know, here at the Crazy Town, we're pretty, we're pretty friendly with all walks of life, whether you're gay or straight or, you know, any okay. of that sort of stuff. So, all right. Where's this going? Where so, I, uh, so I was watching a video the other day, and it was, it was some, some show on some host on some whatever. And sure. I, this guy, this, uh, a priest called in talking about um, how he would, uh, it, he was something about conversion therapy for people who are gay or something. Oh, okay. And he would, and he said, and he said that, uh, you know, that he would pray for them to not be gay anymore or whatever, or something like that. Oh, just pray the gay away. Yeah. And, and the, the, the host, it was one, it was one of the, the best things I ever heard in retort. He was like, he said to the guy, he goes, okay, well, so, so you, you pray they're gay away or whatever. He goes, you know what? And, Easy. He, and he starts whatever, uh-huh. th- trying to validate what he said. And he goes, so let me ask you a question. How hard and long would I have to pray to turn you gay? And the guy's like, uh, 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 well, well, that wouldn't be possible. He goes, yeah, fair. Well, if I can't pray you gay, then how can you pray somebody straight? And the guy was just like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I was like, boom, roasted. Like it was just like he just because it was it was just so perfect because the it turned yeah. it around. It, 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 it's, it's, you know what? Mm. This is the case of like, I, look, Jonas, I have a PhD in bullshittery. <laughs> right, right. Actually. So when I hear that, like my first response is like, well, that's an easy bullshit. But of course, he missed his opportunity there. He looked like an idiot and de- delegitimizes the whole pray to gay away community, which they should be. <laughs> right, it's right. It's awful. <laughs> so I'm not going to take the devil's advocate on this. <laughs> right, right. Even though gonna... I have a good bullshittery answer, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to say good. The guy should have been taken wrong. I don't agree with conversion therapy. At all. Right, right. It's Me neither. Absolutely not. But uh, I had never heard anybody say, yeah, he was just like, so how much I got to pray to make you gay, dude? But <laughs> you do realize is that there is a certain subset of people that believe is that there is an agenda out there right now. What do you mean? An agenda we're, like we're not what? We're not familiar with the gay agenda. I guess not. Oh, okay. So um, there's a lot of people out there that feel like there is a, a conspiracy. Okay. That... There is a way uh, or there's a wave of normalizing of this behavior in an attempt to convert people. Wait, to convert people to being gay? Yes, because if something's more normalized, there's no stigma on it and more people will adopt it into their lives. And I would have to say is that there are. Uh, there are people out there who are born with it, and there are people who discover it later in life. And but that those, doesn't mean they weren't born with it, too. It they does not. It does not. It, yeah. And that's why I chose the, the terminology I use. Right, right. Okay. And there's people who discover it later in life. And there's and this the gay agenda is essentially supposed to make it easier for them to convert to the lifestyle of right. their choosing. Right. Well, and I could see that because I know there's people who like. You know, they, you know, they're straight their whole life, but they're like, you know, like women, a lot of women, they're like, I find women attractive. I guess I find women attractive, but I've never like tried to date a woman because whether their family has such values or society or the pressure or whatever. And it's like, they're like, I, but like, you, you know, if you're a hundred percent not attracted to the other sex, but if you're, if you're just like indifferent about it, you could be like, well, maybe I would be if I tried, but like, if you're. If, if your whole life you've been told it's wrong and da, 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 you're way less likely to try it. And if the, like you said, they're conspiracizing to make the gay agenda more normal where people are like, well, maybe I do like the other sex. So do you think there's a gay agenda? I don't, I wouldn't call it an agenda. I just would think that it's more of a, I feel like it's just like anything that's been like taboo that really isn't it, it, the same thing. I would say the same thing about like marijuana. It's like back in the day, the agenda was to make marijuana so negative yeah, that everyone thought it was like it made you crazy and it did whatever. And now they're like, dude, 
you can smoke weed to like get rid of pain and do all this other stuff. Mm-hmm. But it, so if people, if they wouldn't have made marijuana so bad in like the early 1900s, would marijuana be way ahead of where it is today? Yeah, and there it's was, the same sort of thing. There was an, there was definitely a uh, an ulterior motive to the reason that they wanted uh, cannabis because even naming it marijuana was to make it seem more foreign right but it is it's cannabis but there was definitely an agenda even with well, that. the people who made money off liquor and the people who made money off other things like why why should this thing that's you can grow in your backyard mm-hmm. become popular if we're not going to make be able to make money off it the proper mm-hmm. way but like yeah like so i mean i feel like people being gay doesn't hurt anyone i mean Let's let's put it like this. Now, I, okay. So first off, I, wanna, I feel like I have to put a disclaimer out there. Right. I would say that if everybody were doing it, wouldn't that be the, the population would end exactly because there'd be no procreation exactly. So I mean, I see the point. It could it can hurt humanity if, overall as far as longevity because mm-hmm. there aren't as many people procreating. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But and, as far and, as like the act of being gay, like whatever, so dude. in in the interest of self preservation, I could see the country pushing heterosexuality only because already in heterosexual relationships less people are getting married there's less children being born we're going down the same uh route that china is going down where we're having difficulty finding people to procreate with each other and produce the the next generation so right right my thing is that i believe that there is a push to normalize homosexual and all of these other um alternate sexuality preferences trans rights and everything i think that they should be more normalized because these people have been living in the shadows for the majority of their lives and they've been uh subject to undue oppression right for and like just you know not given the same opportunities yeah yes so it should be normalized because they always have been there it's not like they ne- like they just showed up in 2021. They've <laughs> right, been right. No there. one was gay until they decided yeah. that it was okay. Yeah, right, basically, exactly. nobody was gay until Little Richard started banging on a piano. Bull crap. Right. So right. it's been there, but I I just don't understand like the undue fear of it early on. Um, and I don't really see a fear in it now because if you if you choose to live that lifestyle, it doesn't mean that you still can't procreate. And like I said, it, it's better to have it normalized and people understand so that there's not so much fear associated yeah. with it versus not talking about it and being like nobody should well, participate. Well, yeah, and the other thing too is a lot of a lot of people that like gay couples will either they have like someone close to the, like two lesbians will have like a male friend that's close to them and impregnate one of them to have a kid or they'll or they'll adopt a kid from somebody else or mm-hmm. things like that. So I mean, people who are homosexual still have children. Absolutely. You, you know, it's like you don't have to like like my like I know someone who is a lesbian and they had one of their they all three of them were friends and the lesbian couple had one of their best male friends impregnate one of them so uh. they would and the, did it some legal way so he wasn't responsible for financially supporting the kid or whatever. Exactly. And, and they and, had a baby. And those families are perfectly viable. Right, exactly. And they're, they're still proven to be happy families. Yeah. Like, there's some things, obviously, that they have to discuss with the children or with the child in, in, involved in that, but it's still, it's a perfectly fine family. Yeah, exactly, man. So, yeah, it just, uh, I just, I, I mean, I just thought that was, like, the greatest thing ever because I love hearing bigots get <laughs> caught up on their own words, dude. And they get and they, do get themselves caught so many times oh absolutely so <laughs> anyways that's all the time we have for today's episode please go to crazytown.com and uh subscribe for jonas tnt uh we uh, are uh out the uh.